Hey you guys, welcome back to New Stuff TV, the untechnical tech channel. I'm your host, Antoine. Let's see what I like to shove in my ear holes, Richardson, because today we're talking about my top three earbuds of 2023. And I guess possibly of all time, because if it was something from the past, I'd still be using it. So we're just my top three earbuds, man. I have to rock with these three earbuds, like one or all three of them every day since they've been in house. And trust me, bro, I've come in contact with a lot of earbuds. I'm what you call a, I'm a privileged consumer. I do have to buy my earbuds sometimes, but then a lot of times companies will just send them over for free and I'll just get to sample them out and tell you how they sound. So that means I have access to a lot of earbuds. I'm just driving that home, man. A lot of stinking earbuds. One more thing for some housekeeping. If I don't mention your earbuds because there's only three, don't be getting all hurt, man, because I didn't mention your stuff. That doesn't mean your stuff is trash. Well, it could be. <laughs> I'm just saying, these are my top three, and these are the best three that I've tried on this channel, and that's why I physically use them, and I choose to use them every day that I've had them. So let's get into it. Now, the first set of earbuds here, as you can see, I've got them connected to my wallet and my uh, key fob for my car. And that's because I like having these earbuds with me at all times because you just never know when you're gonna need a pair of earbuds. You don't need them in your ears all the time, but when you do need to stick at least one earbud in your ear, the ones I like to go to is the Sony WF-1000XM5. Here they are in the case. Let me just take them out of this little neoprene case. I got this off Amazon, man. If y'all want to, I'll just drop the link in the description and pick it up, throw it on your keys. But here they are. In all of their glory. Now look, man, I'm probably not gonna say or, or mention a single spec in this particular video because I don't really care about the specs. What I care about is, I just don't care about what the company tells me they're gonna be able to do because that doesn't always translate in real life. What I want to know is, but do they jam though, of course, and are they comfortable? And am I gonna get some good battery life and some good phone calls in them? And of course, if they're gonna sound good. So as far as comfort, man, these are very, very comfortable. I've actually swapped out my ear tips uh, from the original and upgraded, uh, was it comply foam ones that they use? It's like a special ear tip that Sony uses on their premium WF series earbuds. This is actually the SpinFit uh, 360 or something like that. I got that off Amazon too. I'll put that link down in the description if you want it. Hey, click them links, man. They make me rich. Every time you click the link, whether you buy something or not, I get paid. So just click the link. Do your boy a favor, man. I'm doing you a favor. I'm telling you about this stuff. So click that link, baby. <laughs> But seriously, man, the WF-1000XM5 is a very comfortable earbud. They're actually quite a bit smaller from the XM4s that came out a couple of years ago. These are like the perfect size to fill up your ears. That way you get a good seal. And then we talk about active noise cancellation. And these are gonna be the best that I found for active noise cancellation all around. I'm not talking about with a hiss or some ambient noise to cover up the outside sounds or any kind of tricks they do. Sony does noise cancellation right. As far as ambient sound goes, these could still use a little bit of work and we'll get to that in a moment. But I really, really love these for a couple of reasons. One, it's the Sony sound, but the sound on these is fantastic. You really can't go wrong. You got your presets within the app. And then of course you got your EQ that you can just boost or take down or whatever you want to do with the, with the sound of your music. But the artificial intelligence embedded in the Sony WF-1000XM5 is absolutely incredible. These earbuds literally just move with you. If you're walking, these earbuds are walking and they'll pump in some ambient sound so you can hear a bicyclist or a train if it's coming at you. They follow you, man. It's it's artificial intelligence making these ears, uh, earbuds work while you're doing your day. That way you don't have to keep going back and forth to your app or tapping on the earbuds or anything like that. Speaking of taps, they still lack in a little bit of controls, man. They gave us volume controls, which I can appreciate, but I think they could implement them a little bit better than they have. Come on, Sony, help us out, man. Give us some, some real volume controls that we can access without like quadruple tapping on either ear or whatever. Anyways. 
I keep these with me at all times. And you can see that because they're latched on to my keys. Now it's time to move on to number two. And that would be these little gems right here. The OnePlus Buds Pro 2. Now these earbuds are something I would have never purchased. In fact, I didn't purchase these. OnePlus sent these over when they came out with the OnePlus 11 phone. And I was like, all right, let me just try these joints. And dang, I was so surprised. Not only by how good they sound, but how comfortable they are. How good they are with active noise cancellation and the ambient sound is so clutch. It's, it's almost like you've got nothing in your ear. You can just hear everything. Now, for those that follow the channel, when it comes to ANC and ambient sound, I'm more of an ambient sound guy. I usually have the silence I need when it comes to earbuds. It's just, I, I like to hear my environment. So to just be able to put two earbuds in your ear and turn on ambient sound and be able to hear everything, almost like you don't have earbuds in, that's pretty clutch, man. I like what OnePlus is doing here. But when we get to ANC, surprisingly, even though they're shaped the way they're shaped and they do so well with ambient sound, these things do really excellent, uh, do a really excellent job with active noise cancellation. You almost can't hear jack. And that's why I like them for that regard as well. So you could, you could travel with these if you want to. Side note, when we're traveling, the best ANC experience you're going to get is not going to come from any earbuds, okay? It's going to come from over ear headphones. So just keep that in mind. So when I say you can travel with these, yes, but they're not going to block out nearly as much as you would with the XM5 headphones or, you know, some noise canceling uh, over ear headphones. Back to the OnePlus Buds Pro 2. Let's talk about sound. Ooh, wee man, these things sound sweet. Oh man, they sound so good. You just, you set them to what you want. And so if you got a OnePlus phone, you're, you're gonna have a much better app experience and more control over the earbuds. But if you don't have a, a OnePlus phone, you can go into the Hey Melody app or something like that, and then you can tweak up your EQ. But don't expect to be hanging out in there too often. You're just gonna you know, set your, your tones to what you want them to be, and you're gonna just leave it alone because these things are just gonna sound fantastic. They do lack the AI though. They don't have the AI that Sony has. So, you know, they're not going to be turning on the ANC and ambient sound as you walk and do things and stuff like that. None of that fancy stuff, man. These things get the basics right. And when I talk about basics, I move into controls. It's not a touch. It's not a tap. It's not a swipe. It's kind of a squeeze. As you're wearing them in your ear, all you got to do is reach up and grab that little stem right there and give it a nice little squeeze. And that's how you're going to control your earbuds. All you got to do is give it a squeeze like a double tap is going to give you like a forward or backtrack single tap will play and pause. Unfortunately, we do not get volume controls on these unless there's been an update. I don't know about just yet, but you do get your ambient sound control. So if you tap and hold or something or squeeze and hold, um, you can get your ambient sound controls and stuff. So these earbuds are so great to just pop in, man. And all of these earbuds I'm gonna talk about, they, they do single bud use. So it doesn't matter if you just wanna wear both of them or just the left or just the right, you're gonna be able to do that. And what I find myself doing, these usually live by my nightstand. And I'll just like to just, you know, grab a little, you know, earbud, don't matter which one, whichever one comes out of the case, it's just in my ear, man. They're very comfortable to wear. I've even kind of fell asleep with these, watching some ASMR, you know, they don't smash into my ear or anything like that. Just super comfortable. And right now the ambient sound is on. And the only reason I can tell I have an earbud in my ear is because I can feel it in my ear, but I can hear everything very clearly. And another thing about these earbuds, these in particular, is the phone call quality. I gotta say these are actually a little bit better than the Sony WF-1000XM5 as far as phone calls. I've never had a single complaint on a phone call with these. Now I haven't had, well, okay, maybe I have had one or two complaints about the Sony XM5 uh, phone calls, but that was because there was just way too much wind going on on the outside. I was walking my dog and there was just, I was walking on this bridge and the wind was just coming. <laughs> And they complain about that and rightfully so because yeah headphones or earbuds are only capable of doing so much in real time you got to think about that with the phone calls that you're taking if you are actively in a windy environment or a super loud environment these headphones and earbuds are in real time canceling out whatever's going on out there in the real world and they are monitoring your voice to bring your voice to the end user which would be the person you're talking to but canceling that out in real time. It's not like how we do these videos where we do it all and then we go back later and edit it. No, this stuff is happening in real time. And these do a fantastic job of weeding out all that excess noise in real time. 
But now we gotta get to a very unlikely set of earbuds. I don't know if you call these earbuds or not, but this is the Soundcore AeroFit Pro. These are absolutely brand new on the market from Soundcore. Now I am, look, I've tried a lot of the, like, you know, the open ear joints, the ones that go around the back of your head and they're kind of stiff in the back and a lot of open ear stuff. And like, I'm a fan of the, I'm a fan of the movement because I like ambient sound and have an open ear experience. But none of them have ever just said, hey, Antoine, wear me all the time until these showed up. Man, I was crazy surprised with these, man. I was even more surprised by the Soundcore AeroFit than I was by the OnePlus Buds Pro 2. Like I said, I would have never gone out and purchased the OnePlus Buds Pro 2. But man, I'm so glad that they sent them over because like I'm telling all you to buy them. They're worth the money. Go buy them because they're that great. Same with these. These are just that good. Let's start off with the phone calls because that's where I left off with OnePlus. I'm absolutely positive that in my experience, these have been much better than the OnePlus Buds Pro 2. And that's that's saying a lot, man, because the OnePlus Buds Pro 2 are really freaking good at phone calls. These are actually better. I don't know what Soundcore has done. I think they got like four mics in here, but everybody talks about four mics. I think even the Sony's bragged about six mics in their earbuds, but these, these are so good at phone calls. I'm talking crystal clear quality on the other side. I've never had, even on the bridge I was just talking about, really didn't have anybody complaining about the wind noise. These are amazing at blocking out wind noise. And I guess that's because they're made for sports. You know, you just kind of hook them on your ear like this. Just hook them there, man. They go on nice and easy. You can't mold them to the shape of your ears. They just have the silicone right here and it's just kind of really flexible. So you can't mold it and get it to stay, but it just kind of hooks over there, man. It just, it's, just nice. it's just a nice, easy hook over the top of your ear and it just rests on the side right there and boom, you're done. Once again, they work independently of each other, but once you put them both on, not only are you gonna get the best phone calls of the bunch, but you're gonna get actual real good sound quality. Now, some people say, all right, these things don't have enough bass. Okay, they're only capable of so much, okay? But you do get a level of bass. You get quality sound coming out of this, okay? First of all, I think, is this Soundcore's first open ear earbud? I think so. I think so. And in typical Soundcore fashion, they give you everything but the kitchen sink. You got the app, you got the EQ, you got some presets and everything. They even give you spatial sound on these. I thought that was insane. Like, why would you even need spatial sound? But the stuff works, okay? You got head tracking with the spatial audio, and then it's just got like fixed spatial audio, and it actually changes the sound, and it sounds better. So watch your content uses spatial audio or spatial sound, whatever you want to call it. What I'm trying to tell you is, these actually sound really good. And what I'm also trying to tell you is, these are the ones I actually started picking up the most. I know I got the Sony's attached to my keys, but these, th this case is like super slim, right? So I don't even take the case with me, but it is super slim. If you put it in your pocket, it's not gonna make that much of a difference. I mean, look at the size of that. That's a massive footprint compared to the Sony, but look at the width of it, okay? It's pretty much the same. So it just kind of slides in there and then look at the size comparison to the OnePlus. I think uh, overall, I don't know which one's the biggest or smallest. Well, I guess it would have to be the Sony, but this case doesn't really impact your pocket or you know whatever you're carrying that much. But I don't take the case with me. I just hook these joints on my ears because that's where they'll live. Even when I'm not listening to anything, I might you know just want to have them on my ears just in case I catch a phone call and they don't bother me because I can hear everything. It's like I got nothing in my ears because I don't. You're getting that sound quality. You're getting that phone call quality. You're getting comfort. What else you get? Uh oh. Distance. All three of them have good distance away from the phone. I don't know, like a wall or so between. But I know these arrow fits, I can put at least two walls between me and my phone. I did that on accident one time. I was talking on the phone, <laughs> left my phone in the kitchen. Then I went upstairs into the home office and did something. And I was like, I'm gonna send you a picture. I was like, where's my phone? I was like, dang it, I left it downstairs in the kitchen. So you can put at least a wall or two between you and the phone. And they're just that dang good to where in my daily life, I used these probably the most, even though the Sony, this is how I'll be rolling, man. I'll grab the, the my keys. The Sonys are sitting here in the case, in my pocket while I'm out. But then I got at least one or two of these hooked onto my ears. That's insane, right? That's how comfortable these things are. <laughs> And I'm listening to these and then I can hear my environment. But I do have to say that even though these are open ear earbuds, uh, when they're turned up, 
uh, to max volume or even pretty much medium volume, they do block out enough sound. Like that bridge I was telling you about when I'm walking my dog or, you know, doing some stuff out there, I can't really hear all that mess going out there on the bridge because these are up loud enough to drown out that noise. There's no noise cancellation going on here, but the music quality is that good to where it can just drown out the outside noise. Either way, all of these are actually worth the money in my opinion. And yeah, Soundcore actually sent these out to me too. But it's crazy because, you know, like I said, I gotta buy my stuff sometimes. And a lot of times the companies will send me out some stuff and I get to try it. And I'm really glad they do because this is stuff I probably wouldn't buy if it wasn't, you know, if I was using like my own money, I probably wouldn't buy it because, you know, I don't know. <laughs> then I'd have to get on YouTube and watch some guy tell me about how awesome this stuff is. But the fact that I do have them along with all the other earbud choices I have, and I pick these three every time I want to put something in my ears, says a lot. Now I'm no expert in this kind of stuff, but what I do know is I got a lot of choices to put in my ear holes. And this is what I choose right here. So y'all keep being good to each other and I'll see you when I see you. Whoa, 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 before you go, man, I forgot to tell you, me and my man Digital Slang decided to start up a new YouTube channel. It's where we hang out and debate different tech topics, and I'm usually right, he's always wrong. Either way, you should come hang out with us, so I'll see y'all over there.